How can New Mexico finally solve its crime problem? A new report presented to the Legislative Finance Committee takes a deep dive into the problems and gives recommendations on what police, courts and prisons need to change. News 13's Jessica Baron is live downtown with the details. The Legislative Finance Committee reviewed data collected by the FBI. During the hearing, committee members questioned what could be done to stop the rising numbers. New Mexico's crime rates remain above the national average, driven by high crime rates in Bernalillo County. That is how program evaluators began their presentation on the crime rates in New Mexico. Referencing data from an FBI report that is more than two years old, it shows Bernalillo County and Albuquerque as two of the leading areas for crime. The Legislative Finance Committee is trying to find solutions to the core problems of why people are committing crimes. But as evaluators say, hope is not lost. However, we know what is effective and where we can direct our efforts at reducing crime, such as treating its root causes. During the hearing, evaluators provided a list of recommendations to target major crime problems. Suggestions include outlining minimum standards for pretrial services and adding more people who can determine whether someone is competent or not. Evaluators also advised increasing the number of sworn law enforcement officers to meet staffing targets. This sparked a remark from Senator and Chair George Munoz. I don't know if it's a, a mentality issue that we don't want to do this or if it's really you need more officers to deal with this or, or what, but, but some of these offenses Wow, seem pretty serious and we're not solving them. At one point, Senator Joseph Cervantes crashed the meeting and offered his thoughts on why crime continues to increase and pointed to the DWI dismissal scandal. In Bernalillo County, the reason DWI cases are getting dismissed because the cops are on the take, right? What are we afraid of saying? They were getting paid off. It's not that hard to train police to do it right. And when, and when they're not doing it right, Maybe the people that are supposed to be in charge of them should be replaced. The report also states the legislature has appropriated roughly $829 million to address crime over the past three years. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jessica. Other recommendations listed included having joint patrols in hotspot areas between the Albuquerque Police Department and Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office.